Hey there guys, how's it going and welcome to a Black Ops 3 Top 10. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the top 10 guns in the beta as voted for by you guys. Now the next video, we're going to be doing the top 10 perks. So if you want to vote for that, have your say. The link is in the description of the video. Now obviously, these guns are subject to change and it might be a little bit different when the full game comes out. It'll be interesting actually to see the differences and the adjustments that they've made when the full game comes out. So we'll do another top 10 then. So let's take a look at the top 10 guns in the Black Ops 3 beta as voted for by you guys. At number 10, you guys went for the Shiva Single Shot Assault Rifle. For me, this is one of the most underrated guns in the beta. I did a whole video dedicated to it, and I thought it was very strong. I think it's only not higher because not enough people really gave it a good chance. You know, the beta's only out for a few days. A lot of people don't want to try out some of the more specialist weapons like a Single Shot Assault Rifle, but it was very, very strong. I'm expecting this to be very strong in the final build as well. I would have liked to have seen it with a slightly increased fire rate, but it was still pretty good where it was, so maybe the balance is just about right with this one, number 10, the Shiva. number nine you guys have voted for the weevil submachine gun this is a bit like this game's version of a p90 it's got high fire rate relatively low damage and a decent amount of range to it considering that it is my submachine gun i mean for me personally you're never ever going to beat the cod 4 p90 let me know in the comment section what is your favorite p90 from the call of duty series uh, but this was a decent option something i didn't use too much but could do a lot of work and we saw that with the first episode of black ops 3 beast of the week the winning clip was using the weevil where a guy went on an absolute beastly streak so number nine the weevil submachine gun In at number 8, the Dingo Light Machine Gun. This is actually the only light machine gun in this top 10. The BRN didn't make it, and I actually really loved that weapon. I didn't get much of a chance to use this Dingo, so I haven't got any footage with it, uh, but I used the BRM a lot, and I love that. This is like a higher fire rate LMG, and a lot of you guys loved it. Very rare for an LMG to get quite high in like a top 10 countdown of guns or anything like that, so I'm sure a lot of you guys thought this was a decent one, and I think it might even be higher up. Again, this is one of those guns a lot of people don't want to try out the LMGs, when they're just testing out a game. But I think once the game comes out, people experiment a little bit more. This might get even higher in people's favorite weapons. But obviously, it was still loved from the beta. That's why you guys voted it here at number eight. Next up is the Vespa submachine gun. This was the highest fire rate submachine gun available in the beta. And these high fire rate SMGs are always fun in Call of Duty. To be honest, the Scorpion from Black Ops 2 is probably my favorite of all time. And this was a little bit similar to that weapon. It's probably going to take up that space in this game, being that really close quarter submachine gun that has that high fire rate. Not that great a distance, but up close, it will absolutely melt people. And even sometimes in competitive gaming, we've seen people use these really fast fire rate submachine guns because they can do a a lot of damage so a decent gun and I'm sure that's why you guys voted it here at number seven Here at number 6 we see the HVK-30. This was actually one of my favourite guns in the beta. At first I didn't really like it. After using some of the other more high damage assault rifles, I felt like it was a bit of a hit marker machine but really with the right game style this thing has great hip fire accuracy and it can really do a great job. If you want to be a slightly more aggressive style assault player where you want to run into objectives and maybe outgun people at close range as well as picking them off at distance it's a very decent option. So I really love this one. It reminds me a little bit of an M4 from previous Call of Duties and if you know my uh, game style and you know my channel you know I always love the M4s in a Call of Duty so a great all-round weapon probably the best all-rounder in the game which sometimes makes it not amazing at any one thing so that's probably why it's not higher in the countdown but here it is at number six. Now into the top five, and these are the really top tier guns from the beta as voted for by you guys. We've got the CUDA submachine gun. This gun was very reminiscent of an MP5, and it mostly reminded me of the MP5 from Call of Duty 4. And for me, that is probably one of the greatest submachine guns in any Call of Duty ever. Now, I think this might even be some people's preferred gun of choice, but maybe the fact that it was one of the first unlocks put people off a little bit, because normally the first unlock in a category isn't the best weapon in the game, but this thing was extremely extremely strong can see a lot of people using it and I'm sure it's gonna be one of the best guns in the game and it's here at number five mm -hmm. 
Number four now, you guys voted for the Arc 7. This seems to be this game's AK variant. You guys know, watch a lot of my Call of Duty videos. I love AKs in Call of Duty games. COD 4 AK was amazing. Even the Modern Warfare 2 AK-47 was pretty incredible. And even more recently, the AK-12 from Advanced Warfare, very, very strong gun indeed. And this looks to be no different. A lot of you guys liked it. It's similar to the HVK, apart from the fact it has a little bit more damage and is a little bit better over range. And to count for that, or so to say, to counter that, it has a little bit more recoil, but very manageable. It wasn't anything too crazy. And perhaps this could be the main assault rifle in this game, the one that really shines. We don't know. I mean, it's up here at number four. Maybe when the full game comes out, we'll see everyone using it. But again, I think this one probably suffers a little bit from that uh, first unlock syndrome, where it's the first assault rifle that you see. And so you think after a while, I'll try out the new ones. This probably isn't the best one, but very, very strong. And that's why it's here at number four. At number three, we have the gun that I actually probably would have put at number one, the Man of War. This thing is an absolute monster when it comes to tearing down people at medium range. If you ADS with this thing and you get the first shot on, it's very unlikely that you're going to lose that gunfight. And you can see that in a lot of my gameplay, a lot of the high score gameplay was with this weapon. But I have to say, it really does adhere to a certain style. If you play with this game, uh, this gun very aggressively, you're probably going to not be using it to its fullest potential. This is a more defensive kind of slower paced assault rifle weapon and you need to use it in that sense to get the most out of it i heard some people say they use it kind of aggressively and it works for them which is cool but for me it really adheres to that style i would have put it at number one but you guys voted here at number three either way it's a beast of a weapon probably one of the strongest in the game it might even get a little bit of a nerf for when the game comes out so when you put high caliber on and you get those headshots people drop so so quickly it's absolutely crazy but here it is the man of war at number three And number two, the M8A7. Again, this is a gun that is almost a little bit too strong. It's highly likely that this will get a little bit of a nerf before the release of the game. But if they leave it in the way it is, damn, is it a beast. A burst rifle that pretty much always is a one burst kill. Very fast fire rate and very high damage. For me personally, I'd like to have seen it balanced out a little bit by making the bursts a little bit slower. They seem a little bit too fast at the moment. But hey, if you enjoy burst weapons, you'll want this to stay exactly as it is right now because you can do a crazy amount of work with it we've seen loads of people get great gameplays with it and i know when i'm against it you know as soon as you see someone who's already ads with their m8 you know you're dead because bam one pop and you are down very hard to fight against very good when it's in your hands and especially with the right game style the number two the ma a7 And at number one, you guys voted as the best gun in the Black Ops 3 beta was the Razorback. This gun was really great. Great at everything. It's one of those SMGs that has a decent amount of range to it. A slightly slower fire rate than the usual SMGs, which normally makes it a little bit easier to use. A little bit uh, easier to handle and you don't use all your ammo so quickly. So it's very versatile. Great at doing everything really. And if you like to run and gun, which a lot of people like to do in Call of Duty, it's a very fast paced game, then this is a great gun to choose. Uh, SMGs that are like this always do well in Call of Duty. This is a little bit like this game's ASM-1, this game's UMP, extremely deadly and the way it is right now, if they don't change it, will probably still be the number one SMG in the game unless some of the surprise SMGs they've got to show us are a little bit better, but I'd be very surprised if they were because this was extremely strong and really deserves its place here at number one. So that is it for this video. That was the top 10 guns in Black Ops 3. Obviously, that was the beta build, so things might be a little bit different when the full game comes out. Let me know down below what would be your top 10 or your top 5 or even your favourite weapon. Either way, leave a comment. The next video is going to be the top 10 perks, so please go vote for that in the description of the video. Also, if you've made it all the way to the end here, I massively appreciate you guys. Absolutely awesome support from you, so why not smash that like button? It takes a second of your time and really, really helps out the video. Really helps to get published to more people so they can check out these countdowns and get involved in our community. So thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.